what can the human body actually do? How far can you push biology before it breaks? And we think of Batman, what we really have is the most highly trained athlete we could ever imagine. And, and to get to that level of training requires a, a real constellation of things. You know, we heard about the money, and that's for sure. You gotta have the money so you can get the right gadgets and to add on to your training, but you have to have the training. You can't just buy sports equipment and be that superstar. You've gotta have right. training also. Mm -hmm. You can think you are, but normally you're not. Um, but Batman has to go through, the training needs the time to find all the right teachers for all the skills he needs and to subject himself to like a ridiculous, in, in science terms, we would call it a really, really difficult training paradigm. So I mean, how, he, how do you think his training with, was it Raz Al Ghul? How did that look to you? Being, you're a martial artist. Right? Yeah, so, uh, you know, one of the things I liked about Batman Begins was it did show some of the arduous nature of the training, including... Right the kind of beating that goes into just being trained. You know, if, right. you see, if you think of that scene in Batman Begins where he's kind of on those posts and he's being hit with sticks and so on, well, if you're going to toughen up your body, you need to toughen up your bones too so that when you do crash into that wall at 50 miles per hour, right. you've done everything you could. So at least you can go, <laughs> well, I tried really hard. <laughs> you did everything. Um, <laughs> including training your bones. So uh, it's a significant, you know, I talk about 15 years of training to 18 years that would take just to get to that point with all that. And that's all part of the training is also beating you up. Now, how do you strengthen the bones? By hitting the bones? It actually yeah. builds bone material? Yeah, what I talked about in my book was something that's done in different martial arts uh, around the world, like Thai, Thai kickboxing uses this, some Okinawan martial arts, and some Shaolin martial arts. Uh, body conditioning, where you repeatedly bang parts of the body that you're trying to condition against a hard object. And what you do is you increase bone density. You change the mineralization and the lines of stresses that the bones adapt to, and you make them stronger. Like, uh, if you are like most people, you walk and run around, but you don't hop on your arms, so the bone density in your legs is actually a lot higher than it is in your arms. Right. But if you went around training your arms, you know, you get the same effect. And Batman has to train everything. Now, you've trained for over 30 years, haven't you? Uh, I've been doing martial arts for just over 30 years. So yeah. could you be ready to take up the role that Batman has laid down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> um, I've been asked that a number of times after my book came out, okay. and I was always like, and they say, I'd say, no, I'm not really interested in that. They go, why? It's such a cool job. You did this. I said, I said, look it. I get up in the morning. I'm all beat up. I can't tell my kids where I That's went. Right. We're eating breakfast. I got some orange juice, but my arm is basically broken. And they're like, how, what's the shelf life of a superhero like Batman? The shelf life is like three years. Three years, like an like a like an NFL. I'm not, I'm not linebacker. kidding. Yeah, it's, it's uh, to get that number. What I did was I looked up. What's the a average career of other athletes who do things like we see? Because obviously. By the way, if you go to a scientific database and type in physiology of Batman, you don't get very much. So <laughs> you kind of have to come up and look outside the lines of what you other do, things yeah. fit together. And NFL running backs, what's the average career? Three years. Uh, you look at mo uh, mixed martial artists, their ultimate fighters. How long can they hold their belts and be undefeated? Because remember, Batman can never be defeated. If he's defeated, it means he's dead. Right. So you look at boxers. These, when you do this, you come up with it. It's not a very long period of time. It's like two, three years, five at the max. I said I would give him 10 years if he showed up a lot of the time. People just gave up. Oh, right. Batman's here. I'm <laughs> done. I'm out. Okay. Well, they do sometimes. Oh, they sometimes, do sometimes. They but not do the lot. really bad no, nasty the really ones. Bad they're ones really, they're yeah. not giving up. Yeah. Now, it, did you like them the first in the new movie where he's limping around on a, on a cane at the very beginning of the movie? It kind of shows what might really happen a few years down the road? Yeah, yeah, I was really impressed. I mean, I've been very impressed with the whole arc there. Those three movies are great in terms of how it's integrated. It's lots of great concepts from the comics with some reality around the physicalness of what it would mean to become Batman and what it would mean to be Batman, act as him. And I think particularly in The Dark Knight Rises, we see that, that... Uh, the tremendous toll that that kind of activity has. And uh, if, you know, if you were watching any of the Olympics the last uh, couple of weeks and you'd hear some of the athletes interviewed, they talk about uh, how injured they are half the time. They're like, yeah. well, I've got this, I've got this repetitive strain injury, I've got this, i got that. I got they go out and do what they need to do. But when you push yourself to that level, it, there is a cost. 